Hi everyone, welcome back to MSCR Makes Petite Painter's Kit. I'm Miss Julia, and today for our last project, I have plastic bag squish paintings. For this project, you will need some of your paints, whichever colors you would like to use, some of your smaller pieces of paper. If you've used your smaller pieces of paper for one of your other projects, that's okay. You can take one of the bigger ones and either use your scissors and cut it down to be smaller, or you can do this where you fold it and rip it into smaller pieces. You just want a few pieces that are a little bit smaller for this project. You'll also want some of your plastic bags that some of your other supplies came in and you might want one of your paint brushes. You can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way. I'm also going to take one of my other sheets of paper and put it down so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So for my first one, I think I'll use this piece of paper and this bag. You want to kind of measure and make sure that your paper will fit inside of your bag. So I'll take this piece of paper and I'm going to grab some of my paint colors and I'm going to use my paintbrush to grab a good size blob of paint and just squish it onto my paper. If your grown up is helping you, you could also have them gently put some of the paint onto your paper directly like that. You just want to pick colors that you think will look nice together. We're not trying to make a specific shape right now. What we're going to do is put some paint here and then after I've gotten my paint down, I'm going to open up my bag and slide my piece of paper inside. Then I'm going to seal up my bag and try to get out a little bit of the air. And then I can use my fingers and squish out the paint. You might want some of it to mix. You might want some of it to stay the one color. You can decide how you would like to squish the paint. It feels really cool to squish the paint underneath the bag. You can choose to fill up your whole piece of paper like I did, or you can just do little bits. And one of the other things I like to do is play with the paint while it's in the bag. You can see how if I squish really hard in some areas, it will make lines. And then if I take my hand and kind of squish everything back, the lines will disappear. When I'm all done, I can open up my bag and carefully take out my paper and leave it to dry. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get your paper out of the bag, but that's okay. You can also do this with one of your smaller bags. Just make sure that your piece of paper will fit inside. Well, I hope you enjoy this project and that you've enjoyed all of the other projects in your Petite Painters Kit. Remember, if you enjoyed any of the projects and would like to share, you can post a picture of them on the classroom if your grown-up says it's okay. Bye!